Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Sector. We are feeling a little bit blue today, I'm afraid, because we are going to have to deal with some of our pirate friends over here. In fact, they're very close personal friends. They've been spending pretty much every single day of their lives harassing our star system over here in P. Rampuza. We really need to change that name. <laughs> it's just horrible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is Kang Station. Uh, if we head over to Colony Threats, I went down to one of the bars on Pratt, and, oh, sorry, on Chris, and uh, we asked very nicely, hey, by the way, do you happen to know where all of these god-awful pirates are coming from? And they said, yeah, no problem, buy me a drink. And I'll tell you, we bought them a drink, and boy, did they tell us. We got Kang Station over here, is about to get cronked on. Uh, I do want to kind of uh, do a little raid first. You know, this is becoming, uh, oof, military base and an orbital station. Oh, I didn't bring my pirate, I didn't bring my mercs. Okay, never mind, we're just going to blow it up. Okay, cool, continue into battle. We're going to start off strong today, I think. And instead of doing my usual flanking maneuver, I think I'm just going to let everybody kind of get in the way, let them move up closer. Someone told me in the comments section that it's not entirely necessary, and I, I figured I'd give it a shot. I think it does work better to split your fleet up, but I mean, they're already spreading out, right? It's not too much of an issue. That doesn't matter so much. What matters more is that the feedback on the previous episode was unbelievable. Thank you so much for all your kind words, all your kind comments to my call and response. Again, that was the first time I'd had the opportunity to actually interact with anybody uh, since starting the, the season, or the series rather, and it was, I think, the feedback was really, really good. Some people had some legitimate criticism, a very constructive criticism, other people had some really lovely things to say. Most people were fairly sane, which for a YouTube comment section is a, it's a nice change of pace, so uh, shout out to all my sane bros in the chat. Something that no one mentioned, which I was really surprised at, was the pacing of the series. I, I was worried it was getting a little bit slow, because, um, you know, we have been building up, but it's kind of been the same thing for the past couple episodes. You know, adding a few things to the planets, blowing up a few pirate bases, and, uh, you know, sort of repeat. So I really wanted to see what we could do about scaling up the speed just very slightly. This is a Galactic Conquest playthrough, and I would like to start getting onto the, you know, Conquest part of the Galactic. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do a few little time jumps today, I think. So what I'm really going to focus on is building up a lot of money, getting some heavy industry constructed on our planets. We might have to settle a new colony or two, uh, getting those planets up to a place of sort of stable production, and then we move on to... Because we'll have to resign our Tritachion Commission in order to conquer other planets reliably. Uh, and then we can move on to doing just that. So with that said, the goal for this episode is going to be to get our civilization, the Pratt Ascendancy, to the point where it can, you know, reliably take over other planets and hold them. We need to be able to create our own fleets and then have those fleets go out and fight other factions for us. We're going to pick on the small modded factions first. Uh, and then we're going to go for the big boys once we have a stronger footing. While we're on the way home, we can talk very briefly about some of the comments I've received. Uh, there were a couple of very good suggestions. The one that I really want to address first is that we should refit our omens to be point defense monsters. And I think this is a very good idea. I've been using them as sort of like, sort of F tier strike craft, but they're really good in a point defense role. And then the second thing was that if we're going to go with so many big heavy ships, we should probably start thinking about getting some fighters of our own just to keep the ball rolling, and I, again, I think that's a fantastic decision. We also need a lot more money, and I think exploration missions are going to be the play there, so we might leave the Paragon and the Odyssey and friends at home. We're going to take the Odyssey with us, but uh, we do need to start offloading a little bit. Uh, we are very supply-heavy, and we're not going after bounties at the moment, at least not today, I don't think. Hey, this is our very first picket fleet. It's garbage. It's using... Oh my god, it's got a buffalo, two shepherds, and a hound. Yeah, that's... um. That's not what I'd call a strike fleet, but you know what? It's ours and it's special. It's so, so special. I also really do love that that uh, variable assembler just gives us a bunch of free supplies every month. It is, it is really helping keep the cost down, as you can see. We pretty much zero out. Uh, while I'm here, you need to get your auxiliary thrusters. No, sorry, that's not that's what it's called. Augmented drive field. Build that shit in, because we are. this thing is slowing us down so much by being... It's just so slow. It's just so slow. Okay, there we go. Now you can actually keep up with the rest of the fleet. And then let's go ahead and kit these guys out a bit better. So the Plasma Bolt is actually a very good weapon. I'm going to leave that on. And there's a PD laser. This one can stay the way it is. I would like to make another Omen. An Ion thing is of limited value. I think I'd either rather like to have Point Defense on here. Like these Flickers. They're pretty good. Particle Gun. Let's try that out. Try a Particle Gun. And maybe a Particle Gun. Okay, cool. We'll try those out on this guy. See how we do with it. 
We also have a bit more space on here, huh? Interesting. Advanced turret gyros is always nice. As are armored weapon mounts. Need one more, one more slot. All right, but that should have to help deal with the pirate activity we've been facing. I am going to purchase some more supplies off the open market. We'll take a full stack. We're going to go sell all of these heavy machinery. We just do not need this much. We can always just buy more if we need it on our open market. Currently, it's being sold at Byzantium up in Thracia. So we're going to head up to Byzantium up in Thracia. And then we're going to do a bunch of exploration missions. Make some goddamn money and keep these planets really upgraded. I'll bring you guys back for the highlights. All right, so we're up at the Imperium. And we're going to do our best to make some serious money over here. I love their checkerboard pattern. Uh, I've got 1,200... Uh, where are they? There we 1,200 pieces of heavy machinery, and they've got a serious deficit over at Byzantium, so we're going to try and sell them everything we've got. There's Babylon the station. Ooh, but look forward to having to take that thing on. Let's, uh... I'm going to sell on the black market. We'll sell like... Uh, excuse me? The deficit has been resolved in the time it took us to get here. That is painful. Okay, next up is Kethlin, the independent planet in the Hippersol Station system, rather. I guess that's where we're going next. Okay, there we go. We're making 164k just from that sale. It was doing nothing sitting around in our storeroom, so I figured let's go ahead. Make some real damn money off it. Why not? Uh, man, fuel was... Uh, oh, did I just buy that at deficit? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, they're not doing too well over here at Kethlin. What are you shy on? A lot of stuff. Luxury goods, you don't say. Interesting. So independent worlds are also an interesting option for us to try and conquer, but I think I'd rather stay friends with the independents until we have uh, the ability to like fight off all their salvages whenever we run across them. A good idea to just keep them in your back pocket as friends. Also, I'm just going to keep accepting every single exploration mission I get offered, uh, even if it makes no sense for us to go there, because yeah, we can... Well, we can work out routes as we're moving around. Okay, the Ludic Church is doing an expedition to Gobi for some reason. It's not entirely sure why. Um, they're not going to be able to get through our... Oh, it's because we've got a free port. Okay, they're not going to be able to get through our station. So an expedition in Star Sector is like a, a friendly visit with uh, assault rifles to your friend's house where you kind of point them down his throat and uh, beat up his dog. Uh, the Ludic Church is going to come and beat up our dog. And we're not going to be big fans of that. However, if we let the station deal with it, we don't suffer all that much of a repercussion. Um, right now, we need to just tell them to... We need to tell them to... We could spend... We could spend a little bit of reputation. And unfortunately, they don't like us very much at all. We could just bribe them. Yeah. I think we'll just pay them off. I don't need another... I don't need... Because it'll probably start a war. Uh, with our reputation being that low. We don't really need it at the moment. Hey, who the hell are you? Is that a pirate attack fleet? Oh, well. Don't mind if I do. It does feel a bit weird to be flying the Odyssey again, but here we are. Uh, people got very upset at me about the way I was playing it. Um, you know what, guys? That's okay. You know? Uh, the way I suggest you live your life is the way that makes you happiest, you know? And uh, we're just, we're just going to play the game the way I like to play it. Thank you very much. <laughs> um... We're going to take out this ship next, though, that's for sure. I do like this multi-phase ASRM. I will be trying to use the shift feature, though. I, I've been told again and again and again that I need to get in on it. Okay, and I, I'm already... Uh, I apologize to everyone who told me to play the Odyssey differently. I was doing it wrong from the get-go. Yeah, so it turns out just pointing your ship at the enemy and allowing all of your main guns to fire at once is... Uh, maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, yeah, that, that would appear to be the play. Also, man, dude, these, these heavy cannons are just insane. Forget the Paragon. This is the way. Okay, we are all the way up here in the north part of the galaxy, or rather the sector, uh, doing some exploration missions. We've got a few of them lined up around here. I've got to find a ship that's close to the edge of the sector, or exit of the solar system here, and it's going to be a bit of a hunt. While we're hunting, though, I wanted to ask you guys a simple question is, what do you want the end goal of this series to be? Because there's actually quite a bit uh, we could do with it. What the hell is in front of me here? A mining station and a great dismal mortar station. Cool. Uh, let's just go up to the mining station first, I think. Open the pods. 49 harvested organs. That's gross. Uh, adapted phase coils, though. We'll grab that. We're really looking for supplies. I uh, may have come down a little bit understocked. We might have to mothball some ships. A relay hypertransmitter, a very sensitive proprietary piece of technology enabling interstellar communication. Anyway, as I was saying, we're looking for 
uh, uh, an end goal for this series. Uh, we don't already have one just yet, but I would like to know what you guys would like to see. Do we go for full galactic conquest? Do I just sort of take as many planets until my computer catches fire? Uh, is there a specific faction you want to see me taken out? Uh, leave your comments and suggestions down below, and uh, we'll pick the one that seems to be the most fun. Aha, there it is. That took a lot longer than I would have liked. And it's a Phaeton. Interesting. We got a Shepherd uh, with seven Marines in it. Wonder what they were doing inside a drone tender. We have a Jan support frigate. Uh, I don't think we'll be taking that with us. And we have a Phaeton. Fantastic. 70k. Uh, we got some survey data. This thing's actually in really good nick. We're gonna we're gonna take that. Phaetons are uh, worth their weight in gold, and it came with some fuel. That's always nice. Phaetons are really worth keeping. Monthly income of 108k right now. That's mostly because I'm assuming our planets are slowly approaching profitability. Not very quickly though. You now, like Kalahari, could be better. Uh, we can go ahead and set up a few of our buildings though. Um, so, like I said, I want this to be our military base. That's going to be Kalahari, so we're going to push the patrol HQ here up to a military base. That's going to be 450k on its own. And I'll take 128 days to complete that. Or 120 days to complete that. Um, this is, this is, takes up an industry slot. So once we built this, we can't do anything else with it. So that's going to be this planet. Uh, then Gobi over here. Gobi is already pretty horrible, so I don't mind polluting it a little bit. Just because it's already miserable here. So we might as well just make it worse. And we're going to slap down heavy industry on Gobi. Uh, or maybe even just some refining. There's a lot to be said there. But no, I think heavy industry first. This will pollute the planet. We need 50k more. Okay. 50k more. Chris, do you by any chance have an extra slot? No, we built the Mesoic Park. It's bringing in 60,000 a month. Kind of obscene. A little much, maybe. <laughs> we have 121 days left, though, on our integrated uh, integration thingy. And then that'll bring the hazard rating down to 100%, which will make us even more money. How nice. Some distance away from the Senti of the Kosia star system. I hate these missions. They're always the hardest to complete. Okay, for starters, what do we have here? Is that a coronal hypershunt? No, it is a... Just a silly little debris field. We will dip into the thing for the... That wasn't some distance away. What are you talking about? We will send intel to the... Hegemony we're currently at war with. I guess send it to them. I don't really care about my Asura. Let's grab Imperium Elite Mod Spec. That sounds awesome. Imperium Elite Package Mod Spec. Something, to, something to, to focus on in the future, maybe. Also, another debris field. Anything of value in here? 25k. Okay. Oh, sorry. 25k. 25 supplies. We're going to need a few more than that. That gives us five more days. Uh, or four more days now that we've used it on this. Explore those ruins. Begin those salvage operations. Damn. That's a lot of volatiles. Not much in the way of supplies, unfortunately. There is a mod called Supply Forging, which I wanted to ask you guys if I should add. It basically allows you to turn metals into supplies very inefficiently. If you can find a, what's it called, a uh, nanoforge, it does improve the efficiency a little bit, but not by much. It's it's not very overpowered. It's just sort of like helps you in a pinch. Okay, on to the next place. We found another habitable world by the look of it. Is that a methane world? I think it might be. It is a methane world. Ani Saluke. Reform survey got minefields, which uh, improves the ground defense strength, and it's got, uh, it's decivilized, so there's people here. Interesting, could we, uh, there's no one wanted to talk to us, unfortunately. We got 329 fuel, let's begin the salvaging, oh my god, we got an alpha core. Okay, that's another colony, should we need one, without having to pay. Uh, we have another arsenal station with this thing, which allows us to sacrifice mass. I'm gonna skip past it, I don't really care, I don't need another ship hull. I do like an ultra shock beam, though. Monstrous high-powered shock beam capable of devastating strikes. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. We've uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff out of this, including a new lieutenant. But this one's got 247 heavy armaments in it. That is that is big, big money if we can sell it. Oh, that's going to be good. Don't need the mud skipper. We probably should have uh, recovered that sh uh, freighter rather than scrapping it. But so, c'est la vie, you know? So it is. And so be it. Uh, we've got some... Ah, uh, we got some pirates who are just trying to harass us, but they're, they're too chicken shit to take us on. Oh, there was some drugs in that one. Okay, nice. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. We got the money for it. There is another signal down to my sort of southeast here. It is a debris field. Have we pillaged that? Don't think we did. 
Is there anything else in this system? Oh, there's some stuff in that asteroid belt. Asteroid belt? What's an asteroid belt? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Oh my god, it's a research station. Okay, we're mincing it. We're mincing it today. These are always so, so good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got a Zanelgrad class forge template, which is like a dreadnought, right? A hulking survey ship. Oh, dude, yes. Yes. Aggressive tech mining operations. Got my name all over it. We have a fusion bomb barrage. Oh, man, I don't need to test out all these weapons. These are so cool. Okay, what else have we got in the research station? I was hoping for some more blueprints. Another degraded forge template. That is uh, the second one we've gotten. 100k for each of those, though. Uh, let's just research that. A couple blueprints. Nothing. Okay, nothing particularly insane, actually. Triple beam cannon. Enormously powerful laser ray. Yeah, we got. Uh, we need it. We can. We can get on our paragon with a little bit more. People did suggest tachyon lances all round, but I'm thinking now maybe we uh, we vary it a bit. See what some of these. Maybe a, a mixture of things is probably the better way to go. A mining station that might have some some good supply count for us. Let's uh, try and pick that up. 18. Not quite what I was hoping for. Not quite what I was hoping for. We did get a, a heavy armaments VPC though. That's going to be very handy in uh, keeping our invasion operations running. And dump some of that food. Oh, we should probably uh, salvage it as well. What have you got for me? Supplies. Fuel. Uh, logistics core. Okay, and some drugs. More drugs. More drugs is more good. Okay, we made it back home. Just barely. Like, just barely. Uh, we also have a ton more supplies we can take on now, which is fantastic. And honestly, I think I'm just going to dump everything else. We will sell and sort that out in a second. Because uh, I want to get back out there and do a little bit more exploring. I think what we're going to do this time, though, is very much focus on surveying. So I'm going to take... Uh, Oh, let's take like another 600, 500 supplies. There we go. That'll be fine. And a ton more fuel. And we're just going to pretty much beeline our way down to the local group. And we're going to, we're going to, no, 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 definitely don't do that. We're going to get rid of you. There we go. And we're going to take this and we're going to go survey planets down south. And this should be enough for us to settle as well. Uh, we might need a little bit more crew. Just a smush kid. Uh, you know what, let me take these 700. That way we can settle twice if we need to. Alright, so we don't really have any particular purpose here. I'm just going to go around all the local stars, and there are quite a lot of them around me. And we're just going to survey every single planet. Uh, what I really am looking for is a system that's got a... Okay, well this is a bit dangerous, obviously. Oh man, we should come here and blow this up though. An orbital habitat, there's a nav boy. There is a gas giant with ruins on it. It's an inactive gate. Oh my god, this system would be insane. There's all three of the relay sectors. There's another little planet, a windy arid world, which would be habitable. Holy shit, this system is incredible, and it's like right next to our other one. And it's named Chris? Okay, well, I mean, some of the stories just write themselves. Okay, we're gonna have to come back with a uh, decent-sized fleet to blow up that remnant nexus, but we know that's there now. Another remnant sector. Oh, no, oh wow, this one's pretty well kitted out, too. We probably could take on these remnant fleets if we needed to. I'm going to do a bit of surveying here and see what we've got around, lying around. Because, like, like a refining planet like this, this barren world right here, it's going to be hot. But it's pretty it's pretty low hazard rating. It's only 200% for a planet without an atmosphere. It's not bad. Let's explore those ruins. Let's begin a salvage operation. A hegemony auxiliary blueprint. That's pretty good. Oh my god, 1,352 harvested organs. We're rich. We're actually... There was an organ harvesting uh, operation running out of here, apparently. Okay, I'm just going to rip the rest of these ships apart and the uh, various things in the area, and then we're going to move on. Another barren world. This one, this time, with industrial ruins, which are really, really powerful. That's kind of like the ancient tech... And an alpha core? I've been, this has all been like two, two to three minutes flight away from my home base the entire time. Okay, we're going to have to fight this remnant sub-auto. Let's pursue them. Get the Eradicators out there. This is going to be an easy fight, I think. Is this the first time we're fighting Remnants this series? I don't think so. But uh, they are always an interesting an interesting challenge. Alright, let's see what we've got here. We've got... Uh, that carrier one is probably the scariest, and it does indeed have a, a very scary energy cannon on it. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Actually, I kind of want to deal with you first. You're uh, you're scaring the shit out of me, man. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Let's focus fire up north, boys. Let's get the bombers engaged as well. All those Kopeshes. I really do need to get that, uh... I really do need to get those refitted into something more efficient. But yeah, the Yodyssey with this exact loadout is... It can't fire forever. It does run out of flux fairly quickly. But it is a monster, man. It is an absolute goddamn monster when you get the guns lined up. Done. Okay, nice. We could do a bit of remnant farming here. That's a lot of supplies back. And a whole bunch of fuel, too. Ooh. Oh, nice. Now, I think, I think I'm going to focus on... Uh, Focus on surveying all the planets around us. I want to get a full picture of what we've got available. You see, here we've got a barren, bombarded, lifeless world in the next system with uh, some orbital mirrors around it, which are going to dramatically improve the food production on this planet. It's already got a negative, so that's uh, that gives plus two. So that's a, what, like a two-point bonus? That's pretty good. It's not great, but that's pretty good. Uh, this would, I mean, farming makes a lot of money in Star Sector, so this would be okay. Let's, uh, let's salvage it, see what we get out of it. A couple of nanite repair modules, those are very helpful in a pinch. And some food. Uh, sorry, not food, or organic, uh, what you call it? Organic stuffs. Chemicals. Chemicals, the, the frogs, they're turning gay. Oh my god, another industrial ruins. Okay, so this is another system we're gonna want to look into. We're over fuel capacity. How tragic. Okay, there's a continental world in this one according to the preliminary scans, and the continental worlds are amazing. For a lot of reasons, the biggest one being that they typically have, yes, fantastic farmland and industrial ruins. Okay, cool. This is going to be a guaranteed colonization, and it's very close to our other systems. Uh, it might even be close enough that we can get it within the protection range of our military bases. A trifolite cannon. Trifling? Interesting. Uh, oh, and a VPC conflict package. That's the best one. So that gives you both marines and heavy armaments. Uh, rather than just one or the other. There's also an orbital station here. We could have tried to colonize that in hindsight. Whoopsie. Uh, I'm going to take all these goodies, though. Thank you very much. I'll leave the food behind. I don't need 3,000 food. Or well, at least not right now. Uh, I definitely want all that, though. And we're going to have to dump the surplus we've picked up somehow. Maybe all that crap. Raymond wants to fight. I think we'll just leave. We're at the final star before we get home, and we found an artificial world. This is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and perform a survey. Only five supplies. It's got abundant ore deposits and nothing else going on. What the hell? Gives us a 100% defense rating. Iron is entirely covered by an Assyrian maze of empty buildings, unfinished tunnels, intermittent roads, and all sorts of random structures. Unintuitively, this does not facilitate colonies' establishment or growth, as the architectural chaos is not laid out according to any sort of coherent city plan. On the other hand, the landscape is extremely defensible against any invader that lacks precise 3D scan of the region to map all of the paths leading to nowhere from the myriad of open and hidden passengers. So we could build this as like our bunker world. Okay. Artificial is actually a misnomer, as these are in fact telluric planets, which means just rocky, the surface of which are entirely covered over with artificial structures. Theories are, are abound as to what created them, the most popular being that they are the product of rogue domain construction drones abandoned after the collapse, left to build and rebuild the entire surface into a maze of concrete until they fell into dust themselves. That is so cool. Uh, I would highly recommend, again, I, I'm going to Adrian Tchaikovsky pill you, um, but uh, the, the Children of Ruin novel is uh, it's got something very similar to that going on and it is oh god it's so cool anyway that's not important uh, i could do it i will i can and will binge read adrian tchaikovsky novels on a whim okay just at a moment in fact i might just end this recording and go do it right now you can't stop me you're powerless to stop me the pirates are still here are you kidding me with this i just got back to print to uh to chris and these asses are still here is that another one no, oh, that's my, that's my, uh, fast picket fleet. Why aren't you fighting the pirates, you idiots? Oh, because you sta don't stand a chance, let's be honest. Pursue them. Okay, second in command, just, just blow these idiots up. I just, I don't want to see them anymore. God, boom, finished, thank you. Take it all, it's all mine. All your, all your supply are belong to me. Pursue, blah, boom, 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 boom. And, it, okay, cool, that's that, that's another one. Bites the dust. Okay, let's dump all of this. Very nice. And uh, pick up those extra supplies. Very nice, sir. 
Okay, and I think it's time we settle the world. Okay, so this is the plan. I've done a bit of surveying, and we're going to be taking over five new planets. We've got uh, Zeta L. Windriad over here. This says Industrial Ruins. This gives us access to some seriously powerful exotic technologies. This one's alone in its own little star surface system, right? That's not going to be the same for the other ones. There are two worlds here um, in the Ligero system I would like to take over, as they are both atmosphere, which gives them a 200% uh, rating, but it does mean we have... Some pretty, in, pretty interesting things we can do with them. One of them even has industrial ruins. So that's going to be our prime candidate for colonization. Moving down, we have a continental world, uh, which is absolutely one we need to take. That's in the cord system, 8.1 light years away. Uh, very close to it is Tur, which is this one over here. It's a barren world, 175%, but it's also got industrial ruins. And the final one is Alkanost over here, another barren world in the Streebog system. 175% danger, but it's got industrial ruins. We need as many of those as we can get because we might get lucky with one of them being an ancient forge, which lets us print our own buildings, really. Like our own, uh, it's not a building, sorry, lets us print our own motherships and stuff. Like it's just so powerful compared to a normal heavy industry production. It's free, too, if you have a forge template. So, uh, some of them even, okay, I don't want to get into spoilers. I'll, I'll get to them as we come over things. But, now, some of these systems are ludicrously well defended. In fact, all of them except the first one are going to require us to go to war with the remnants and blow them all to hell. So we're going to be taking our marines and we're going to be taking our big capital ships and we're going to be we're going to be taking the fight to the enemy for a change. We're going to need all the heavy hitters because we're going to be taking on big stations. So that's going to be our eradicators, going to be our legion and I'm probably going to leave behind a lot of the smaller craft this time. Okay, we've refitted a lot of our ships. I've run some simulations. They all seem to work. Uh, this is going to be the new setup for a lot of our things. The the Paragon is going to be particularly interesting to see in action. It's it's sort of right. It's still very much beam focused, but this thing is to real goddamn damage right now. Uh, there is one mod I would like to add, which is advanced optics. Um, this improves the beam range by two hundred, but return reduce their turn rate by thirty percent. I think that's fine, considering the Paragon mostly just points at the enemy and fires. I think that's fine. Another thing we could do is high scatter amplifier. We deal 10% more damage, but uh, we reduce the portion of the range that's above 200 by 50%, which basically means like we halve the range, sorry, we quarter the range of our beam weapons, but then they do hard flux damage. I think, given that the Paragon already doubles the range, I think that this is, this is, a, this is a decent thing to add to this bad boy. And if I was asked, I'd probably remove solar shielding in order to get there. And we'll add the high scatter amplifier right there. We could, of course, then increase the range again just by a tiny little bit using advanced optics, um, but uh, I don't think that's necessary. I think that high scatter amplifier is going to do the trick for us just fine. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and send ourselves into a fight. Uh, well, I, I can, I will demonstrate this part in the simulation real quick. So we should now see hard beam damage being dealt. And it looks like it is indeed happening, and their ship is already overfluxed and is going to be shredded. It does turn the Paragon into more of a frontline ship, um, so it's no longer going to be sort of a rear support. So its top speed is an issue. We need to make sure it has a pilot that's got helmsmanship, just to give it that little 50% boost. And of course, it's got to have the top speed boost as well, which is why that pilot has been chosen. All right, let's go take the fight to the remnants. I think it's time. And then we're going to settle some colonies while we're out there as well. Okie dokes, our first port of call is going to be Zeta Al Windward. It is a arid, barren, bombarded, lifeless world. It's got a lot, <laughs> it's got a lot of adjectives attached to it. Uh, and this is going to be the first and only uncontested settlement we're going to do for the foreseeable future. Let's establish a colony right away. Uh, it's going to be 100, 200, 1000. I think that's completely doable. We're going to be calling this... We named all the other ones after deserts, so why don't we keep that up? You could be Sahara. How about that? Okay, so our ruins here is a hull deconstructor. Interesting. We don't know what this does until we upgrade it, so we kind of have to just wait to see what that's going to be. But for now, the hull deconstructor it is. Okay, until I can work out what else to do with this planet, I will take suggestions in the comments for this one, by the way, if you'd like to offer some. I think maybe we just slap... Uh, I, I was thinking of doing... I was thinking of doing heavy industry here, just because it's already pretty tough. Uh, we could do tech mining. There's not much, though. It's a light ruins. It's not really worth it. We could do salvage yards. That's only really good if there's something worth building. Another Mesoic Park, maybe? Uh, it would lose us money, because we have negative access at the moment. More light industry is tempting. 
more refining is tempting, heavy industry is tempting. I'm just going to slap farming on it for now because it, not many planets are going to be able to support farming and we are going to need a lot of food once we start making enemies. So even though it's a bad farm planet, it's going to be another farm planet and that's important. Okay, next planet on our list was... Going down the line, it was this one here. Uh, Zelta Fost, yada yada yada. Let's go ahead and lay in a course. This is going to be one of the ones we're going to have to fight for. We're going to have to kill all the remnants in this system before we can reliably... Oh god, there's a few of them too. Come at me, fools. Okay, we're going to fight them all at once. Let's do this. I also changed out the fighters on this ship. We've now got some heavy interceptors and some interceptor drones. And that's just to help screen some of the uh, fire coming in. Because I don't really have much point defense at all on this ship. And so I'm going to rely on the fighters to handle that for me. Okay, I'm moving down south just to deal with some of their small strike craft before we worry about the larger ships, because these things can be a real pain in the ass if they get behind you with like an Atropos missile or something. So, especially these smaller ones, they, they tend to carry some pretty serious ordnance with their size. There we go, shred him. Okay. I mean, we they, they, they stand no chance, it's more about just... <laughs> Just firing, finding the right moment to strike them. Let's go after this guy next, I think. I'm going to get my missiles away on him. Come on. Uh, we maybe want to defend the base. I'm going to actually let my, my strike craft go after that guy. They'll be able to kill him. And, oh shit, we have actually lost an omen. And yes, we need to now reconnect with our fleet, I think. Which is going to be requiring us to take on some of these ships. I think we're going to focus in on this guy. There we go. He's already gone. He's gone. Okay, cool. My strike craft have returned to me. That's excellent. Let's go ahead and take on this thing next. Come on. Blow it up. Blow it up. Oh, shit. Oh shit, we might not have the flux for this. Yep, we've all everything's been disabled. Okay, back off, back off, back off, back off. It's got a tachyon lance. We're overloaded. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I am still overloaded. I can't move. My Odyssey. Okay, okay, we're gonna retreat. We're gonna pull him out of the battle. And we're gonna bring in another another couple ships here. Let's bring in another eradicator. That should help. And then he's just going to retreat, I think. And then uh, put me in charge of this uh, this thing right here. Paragon. I'm hoping against hope we can maintain we can maintain a reasonable field of fire here. You need to leave as well, my eradicator friend. And I think we need to stop protecting this and let the let the eradicators do what they do best, which is go out into the world and cause havoc. Yeah, this many tachyon lances are kicking my ass. I don't think we're making it out of this one with the paragon. No siree. Oh, the paragon's going down. For sure. Oh, for sure. It got completely swarmed. Okay. How, how we're going to have to fight this, I think, is to build a defensive position over here. We get everybody to move over that way. And we just retreat ships as we need to. Okay, cool. We managed to get a couple of our eradicators out. The Paragon did go down in the end, unfortunately. But uh, we got that out. And now we're going to put out the next eradicator. We're going to hold up on this position and hopefully try to kill some of these drones. I'm unfortunately out of command points, though, which is going to slow this down quite a bit. But uh, these guys should be able to handle them. I'm hoping with a bit more variety in the craft, rather than just four ships, we might actually be able to hold our own here. Uh, we lost we lost the Paragon there completely due to pilot error on my part. I let it get swarmed, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, with a battle like this, you've really got to be a bit more sort of present on the grander scheme than I was being. Okay, excellent. We've already taken out some of the smaller ships. This wave is terrifying me, but there's nothing much we can do about it just yet. There we go. Get rid of that uh, right there. Perfect. That's one of their drone ships. 
Okay, now. Now comes the point where we need to disable this command. Let our men get back to the fight. Oh, I suppose this is the space age. Let our people get back to the fight, right? Uh-huh. And... Come on. Oh god, those things could kick my ass. There we go. Triple eradicator on one, though. We might just be able to gun it down enough. This thing's dead. This thing's dead if we can't get down there to help it. Where the hell are you going? What the hell do you think you're doing? What what are you doing? Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm a little... You'd forgive me if I'm a little confused. Why can't I zoom in on it? That's weird. He's backing off. Really wish he would not be backing off right now. Uh, let's call in... I can't call in any more reinforcements. Just, this thing's gonna die. Yep. Tack, double tacky on la Oh shit, this thing's gonna die. Okay, this one's coming in to help. I can't issue another command. I don't have enough command points. I won't be able to issue retreat orders then. Do I just pull this thing out of the... I think I'm just gonna pull him out of the fight now. To be honest with you. I don't think this was the... I don't think the Legion was gonna ever stand up here. Nah, Legion's dead. Legion's dead. Legion's dead, Jim. Ah, oh, shit, and I tabbed out, which means... I, I still have some command point. Um... Let's get a defensive order on you. Doesn't have to be everyone. No, instead, I want you to kill that. I want you to help. Then I want you to kill this, and I want all three of you to help. Focus fire on that thing. You two protect this on the way out, if you can. And let's see how we do here. Okay, th I caught I caught that, that command point, but there's a little bit of time left on the clock. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna blow him out. We can get another Tachyon Lance off the field. That would be pretty critical to us, I think. Okay, I think the Eradicator might have the juice to do this. Here comes the capital ship. There we go. The battle cruiser. They are in position to do some real damage here. Okay, we have lost. Unfortunately, we did lose the big ship. Uh, I'm gonna bring in these two next. Cannot issue another command as of yet. So I'm going to hopefully get you two to, to engage one of these drone ships. But you are a little bit out of position. It's not ideal. They're kind of spawn camping us, as it were. Okay, take out this thing next. That's good. That's good. I think we might win this. It's just going to be heavy casualties. Alright, so we want to... I think, you know, I thought it'd be cool to have a big grand fight. But we don't have enough deployment points to do that. I can change the config file to allow larger fights, though, which we might have to do. Shit, he's gonna get blown up, isn't he? Those tachyon lances, man, they just shred the AI. Because the AI, the AI does, likes to shield switch, which is not the right play when you're going up against phase lances and tachyon lances. Uh, you need to direct retreat. Just don't even try and fight. Just get out of here. You need to direct retreat as well. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk your death. You're gonna stay in the fight. I don't care if you go. But my eradicator! My sweet boy! No, he's just too slow. Okay, we have a few seconds of command point left. We need to focus fire on this thing. We need to focus fire on this thing. You have to kill them. Otherwise, we just keep losing more and more men. And we're not making any meaningful gains. Okay, that's that's starting to really shred him. But it doesn't do enough damage by the look. Oh my god. Oh, Lord, the Tachyon Lancers. Okay, we survived a Reaper. That's that's important, I'm sure. Ah, oh, the dab, the, the hull is in the way. Okay, how is this fight going? Horrendously. Absolutely horrendously. Okay, final combat ship is being deployed. Okay, we are starting to slowly close in on them. There are very few ships left for the enemy, and we have them isolated as well. Okay, maybe we should have had the phase ship come in a bit sooner. You know what? I might pilot the phase ship here. That way we can use those Reapers to better effect, I'm hoping. Because yeah, phase ships do not do well against in, in like frontal combat, but you know, if we can get it around the sides, that could be the play. Oh, here comes my shuttle. Excellent, that one's been taken out. Okay, I think we've won this, but it was a... That was a near miss, so I think we... We very nearly lost a large portion of the fleet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here... 
We're going to come out of phase and we're immediately going to start shooting. All right, damn it, the damn Reaper was selected. That's on me. Okay, fantastic. That one's been taken out. Good. Good, 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 good. I'm letting the AI autopilot the ship for the moment. Uh, this thing should be able to keep those busy until we can circle around and kill them. We have four ships left. It's getting a little dicey. Uh, we need to get in there and kill the remaining uh, fleet ship there. What are these things called? I need to know what this class of ship is called. It's a brilliant. Yeah. I'm used to fighting Radiance, which are the smaller ones. These brilliant classes can really, really pack a punch in force. But there you go. As you can see, the Golden Eagle, once again, proving its its value as a strike craft. Just getting in there and absolutely shredding the enemy. All right, I want to back off slightly. We're going to use the phase to our advantage. Come out of phase, immediately shred a bit there on the shields. Hit him with that degeneration cycler. It just makes it, uh, we deal more damage when we actually hit the armor. It's kind of like a debuff system. Ouch. Okay, we took some uh, full frontal fire there for a second. And that one's knocked out. Okay, jeez, it took four ships, but we killed it. But we killed it. That was one of their last remaining danger ships. Yeah, this one, these, okay, no, never mind. Both of these are freaking terrifying as well. Here we go, shred him. Shred him, eagle. Shred him. Oh, man, the eagle just, I'm so glad we refit it. It's become such a, such a good ship since we did so. Okay, now's my time. I'm firing. I'm firing. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm doing very little because these auto cannons are trash. Oh, thank God, the brilliance killed. Okay. Yeah, no chance of brilliant could 1v1 this thing, and it, it didn't. So that's good to see that you know at least there's a sanity check there. Okay, I'm I'm a little sandwiched. Okay, we've won, but at what cost? Oh wow, that was tough. Man, the remnants don't play, huh? Okay, we're gonna have to go lick our wounds, but uh, this is gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Consider ship recovery. Um, I'll be taking them all. Thank you. Half my fleet. We lost so many men. We lost so many men in that. Didn't we? Oof. Okay, so that's not just... We're gonna have to go back and pick up more crew, because I'm assuming there's a lot of faulty automated systems and whatnot now. Uh, we're gonna have to mothball a few of these ships. For all that trouble, all we got was a single beta core as well. That's some nonsense, man. Okay, I'm gonna sell all the medals we've collected, about 6,000 of them. And that's gonna give us 120k. Uh, it also allows us to uh, dump a bunch of those medals onto the market surplus, which is good. Gobi's currently making 18k from his metal refining alone. That's, 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 yeah, that's respectable. That is respectable. Uh, if we check out Gobi... Directly. That's not what I want to do. I want to go D colonies Gobi. We check out Gobi. What's your market share on this? 18k. Okay, cool. So Gobi's actually profitable, even with hazard uh, rating on. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? That's interesting. We also make in Marines over here. Marines don't make you any money because you can't sell people legally in Star Sector. Note I said legally. We could push this up to high command, which would allow us to then um, issue commands. It also gives a huge stability bonus to the system. Not that we need it, though. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. How is the stability here? It's at 7. It could be improved if we hired an administrator. Anyone uh, available? There isn't an officer. He's got a cool hat. Nah, I don't think he's the guy. Okay, we are once again in the Ligure system. I need to find the remnant... We need to find the remnant station. Take that out. So that we can claim this system as our own. Okay, moving to engage. Continue. Now these aren't that hard to kill, but they're also not easy. Uh, some eradicators. Send it. Let's see how we do with this. So I'm going to send you guys up on the flank, you guys up on that flank, and myself in the heavy hitter over here. What is this class of ship? I want another one. Daichi. I feel like two Daichis could be uh, really, really powerful. If, uh, if oriented correctly. I do hear hypervelocity drivers, which are terrifying. Yep, there's one pointed right at me. That's going to shred my shields. So let's try and focus fire on that, shall we? Come on, let's get those auto cannons in there now. Thank you. And we are smashing it into pieces. And I'm overloaded. Damn hypervelocity drivers. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, we killed the armor. These systems, these, does this station not have a shield? 
It doesn't. I forgot about that. Ah, I forgot about that. Okay, man, we really need to... Uh, we really need to not have... <laughs> what I'm trying to say, we, we, we overload very, very, very... For a very long time. That's mostly just because that hard flux limit is just so ludicrously high. But no, we're, we're cutting through this without any issue. This goes to the show, huh? Those, uh, those, those brilliant classes are a lot tougher than their stations. Alright, cool. Easy win. Same victory. We might get an AI core out of that. We did not. Okay. Farming up a few more, uh, farming up a couple more remnant fleets has netted us two more AI cores, which is two more colonies we can run once we start really picking fights. That's pretty good. Or one colony that's like super kitted out. Either one. I uh, I want to take on this station, but I just genuinely don't think that we can kill this. This fleet is... Although, this fleet on its own is tough. And with this station, it's like really tough. Maybe we push for it. Maybe we push for it. I will need to go in, I think, before we do that, though, and change the battle size from 400 to, like, 2,000. Let me do that. Okay, as promised, I have gone ahead and increased the battle size. We now have a max cap of 2,000. That's sort of like the vanilla star sector, you know, pretty stable. And uh, that's about set fire to your computer. We'll call it in the middle, set fire to your grandma's computer. I think that's, uh, I think that's completely fine. Uh, this station is going to kick our asses. We need to be so, so careful. It's If it didn't have this, if it didn't have this thing right here, the Radiant, I think we reasonably would have had a chance of killing it. But I don't think we do in our current state. We need to be able to... Or... Yeah, we need to be able to kill that Radiant without taking any other further damage, which isn't really viable. Okay, let's go ahead and set up a presence in this colony. Oh, sorry, set up a colony presence in this system. Boom, boom. Uh, we're going to name this place... It's a barren rock that no one wants to go to. Ah. Uh. Perfect. Gibraltar. Gibraltar. The rock. Okay, god. Negative 8% growth. Yeah, this is bad. Um, as it pay, 25k a month. What do we get out of you? Ancient laboratory. That's huge. Ancient lab is pretty big. Ancient lab is pretty good, too. But let's go in and take out the Remnant Nexus. Move into Engage. Continue. Um, I think I'm going to just go in with what the minimum I think it's with is. Because I'm trying to save on supply. It's getting very expensive to do all this. Let's send in like so. I think that will be able to handle it. Okay, so we put off a little bit more than we could chew. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Little bit, little bit more than we can chew. We're just gonna back off a little. Oh my god, dude, the range bonus that their gravity beams get is just a little ridiculous. All their weapons, for that matter. Okay, but we're already, we're already taking, we're already crushing the thing. Like a bug. Excellent. There we go. Okay, claim victory. We'll pick through the wreckage. Oh, nice. A dry bubble spike. No AI cores, though. Oh, well, I'll take two high, two Gauss cannons. That's what they're called. I think we go for this one first, mostly because of the farming bonus. Let's build it. Uh, you are going to need another desert name. Oh, man, I'm running out of deserts here. Nevada. Go. Oh, that is the name of the desert. Yeah, Nevada Desert. Yeah, perfect. And we get a free stellar reflect reflector stellar reflector array, bringing the hazard rating down to 125. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Nevada. And of course, we're going to build farming on that station, on that planet, without uh, without any second guessing. Taking a brief step back from conquering lands from the remnants, we are going to be selling a whole bunch of stuff on this planet. This is the Embaya Google planet. Our transponder is off. They don't know it's us. We can make 145k just on 155k just on survey data. But that's not why we're here. This is why we're here. They want uh, volatiles. They have a huge deficit. That's 334. We can hand over some prisoners for ransom. That's a whole bunch more. Uh, I'm not going to sell. Hold on. Not going to sell my corrupted nano forge. That's for sure. 
Um, I'm not going to sell them the Imperial Blueprint package to the pirates because that means they'll start having Imperial Blueprint package available to them. I'm going to dump all of these uh, organs because we need the money now. Um, this is also a decent place to sell these. 153 is completely acceptable. Uh, although we might be able to find a better buyer. Okay, the final bit of colonization work I want to do today is... Oh, actually, sorry, there's two bits of colonization we need to do today. The first one is going to be to head down here. In the next episode, we'll work out what we're going to do about this division. Because that does need to be fixed. I can't maintain uh, colonies like this. Not anymore. Definitely not anymore. Not like this. Uh, we're not going to last very long with that in, as the case. Oh, nice. And the faulty power grid has been repaired on our Paragon. After its uh, most unfortunate demise. Uh, oh, let's dip in here for a second. I see a pirate base we can harass. Go blow that up. Go blow that up. You know what? I, actually, I might even... Uh, got a special task group, Babbage. That's a Tritachion group. I wonder what they're doing over there. Well, take me in here. Let's dig through this asteroid field real quick. Okay, some free supply I'll take. What have we got here? We got a Sphinx-class heavy cruiser. 11,000 uh, rubles in it. Very nice. What is this? What is this thing? A camel class heavy shotgun frigate. We passed heavy shotgun frigates, I'll be honest with you. Uh, L point exception hull. Okay, great. Let's have a quick little look at this station. There is no orbital station or it. Fascinating. If we try to raid it, they wouldn't be able to do anything. Oh, baby. We could get blueprints. Ooh, we could get blueprints. We could get 40 units of heavy machinery. We could get drugs. We could get lots of metals and food. They grow food here. I'm going to invade this place. Okay, what I'm going to do first is we need to resign our Tritachion commission. I don't want them to have this. Hulking mass of space research standing out even among the shattered fragments of orbital docks. Actually, no, I don't want this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invade it on their behalf just to show you guys how invasions work. And then we might actually have to call that an episode. This has already been like three hours worth of recording. I don't know how the hell I'm going to edit this down. All right, so this is the way it works. So now we have initiated a battle. Tritachion versus the pirates on, Alpha, on Fort Tox. What we're going to do is... Uh, Deploy our units. This is the available troops we have. We've just got some marines. We don't have any heavy weapons with us, so they don't. Uh, heavy weapons are really good to like. I can think of them like mech suits and stuff. They give a huge bonus. So we're going to deploy this platoon of 59 marines over here. Oh, there is heavy. We're going to dump that right there. And then we're going to deploy the Bravo platoon here. We're going to send them to the heavy industry segment. Perfect. So we've got 140 versus 42, 80% morale. Charlie Company, you're going to take out the spaceport. And I believe in you. It does cost supply to do this, just bear that in mind. And now you just sort of sit here and wait. But every in-game day, you'll get a combat report. Bada -bada -bum. We've lost 50 marines, but we have captured the heavy machinery. I need to redeploy. I'm going to move Bravo up to the spaceport. That doesn't cost anything. It only costs to deploy, not to move. And we should capture it on the second turn here. Bang, that is now a friendly station. So cool. So cool. I love that. I love that. Literally just a pile of space junk. You love to see it. All right. So what are you uh, What are you shy on here? Nothing. Should have raided it first because we could have then sold it back like supplies and stuff. That would have been, that would have been wise. Oh, well. Okay, so this is the Chris system. Uh, this is the one we saw at the beginning and we were like, we have to have it. So let's see, can we take over this remnant station? No, this one is equally terrifying. Uh, we're going to leave that for the moment. I don't think we're quite there. But these planets, ooh, these planets might be good. There's a pirate fleet currently fighting the Nexus. I'm, I'm okay with letting that pirate fleet fight that Nexus. I'll be honest with you. We're going to deploy our Odyssey and I think we'll take three eradicators to take on this little micro fleet. And we're just going to slowly whittle down this system, and that's going to be that. Wow, that's going to be one of our new worlds back there.
Okay, that was easy. Next up, uh, let's survey this planet. See what it's got going on for it. Oh man, it's got ruins too. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, cool. That way we don't have to deal with that other one. I might abandon one of them. I'll be honest with you. But for now, this is going to be... We've got a long way to go. Our civilization's right at the start, but we have we have a lot of options available to us here. Oh, nice. We can make some drugs. All right, now let's take over that station, and then maybe we can start calling this place home. Who knows? The last time we pulled this off with these two ships and five eradicators, let's see if we can do it with three. I'm interested. Because these stations really aren't all that tough. Nice. Okay, armor's already gone on that piece. Yeah, they're, they're very much glass cannons. I wouldn't want to fight this with a frigate fleet, but uh, with capital ships and cruisers, really not too much of an issue. There we go. That's one wing gone. Take these ones out next. Oh, God damn it! we hit all the debris. Now, the one, the one thing they really do have going for them, I will say, is those armor plating pieces. Incredibly effective. Gotta kind of try to try to try to shoot things from the side, I guess, is the real, that's the real doozy there. Oh, watch out. Don't get overfluxed. Okay, we're, gonna, we're taking some pretty serious ion cannon fire. Man, this, this dampening field ability is, the, the baseline Odyssey has like a engine boost. I'd, I'd take this dampening any day of the week. It is so good. Okay, so we can do this with four eradicators. It just hurts a lot more. This is good to know. Very good intel. Yeah, okay, so we can do it. It just it just hurts a bit. We've got to spend a bit more on repairs. So maybe five is the magic number just to avoid. Probably spend less on deployment than we would do on the repair costs. Fantastic. Pick through the wreckage, although we did get a nice, a nice little payout there. All right, very cool. Let's see what this orbital habitat's got going on. What's this? Byzantine wine. Ooh. All right, we're going to build another colony. Can't stop me. I'm a madman. Uh, Knossos. Hold on. This is another desert. We seem to settle a lot of deserts. Why is this entire galaxy made out of deserts? All right, uh, let's name this one after like an Australian desert. How about the Tanami? Never been there, but I hear it's beautiful. All right, hazard pay on. Oh my God, that's gonna hurt. 200% uh, hazard rating, because there's a whole bunch of garbage. Perpetual dust storm, that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, what did we get? Ancient laboratory, damn it. We already had ancient laboratory. Uh, can I like abandon you? Like, can I just like walk away? Special functions. Nope. All right, we could try and turn Tanami into a better world though. Maybe Eren world? We need stellar reflectors. That. How about an arid world? Already an arid world. Uh, how about a frozen world? Very cold. No. Jungle. We need stellar reflectors. Okay, so we have to build stellar reflectors. Uh, that makes me think that the other planet we settled. Also, hold on. I want this gas giant. We need to kill the remnant station in order to take the gas giant. That is scary. Okay, I think this is the strategy. This is the fourth attempt in full transparency at trying to take out the station and its defenders. I've tried flanking the entire fleet to the side, I've tried the split flanking maneuver, I've tried running everybody around the back, we just die. It doesn't work. So instead, we're going to try something completely different. We're going to try and hold a position down here, let the enemy come to us, and see what we can out, and see what we can do about taking them out, because they, they tend to do this thing, there we go, they're doing it right now, they hold position. They're doing basically exactly what we're doing. I want to see... What the hell is that shrike doing? I want to see if it's possible for us to kite out a few of them. Okay, so with that in mind, let's move out an expeditionary force over here like this. And I'm actually going to turn off this segment so that my rest of my fleet moves over to the left slightly. There we go. Now we can deal with their claw fighters, for example. But we can't just sit here because they can just infinitely produce these things. And we will eventually lose because of it. Basically, we want to be able to dart in. First, we could put together like a little task force. You'd say like, all of you lot, defend me. No one defend that. Uh, you do this. You, I'm going to have to force them to do it because they're going to try and be smart about this. Okay, now you guys come with me. All right, this, is my little, this is my little task force. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're pushing forward slightly. Bringing them into the fold. Let's see if we can start taking out some of these smaller ships. 
more reliably. Okay, I think we need to take out... I need to focus on things like this. Then I can cancel the command on me. Oh, but now they're just going to go back, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, damn it, he got so lucky. He disabled all my stuff before I... Uh, just as I got the overload on him. Lucky boy. Come on, get those broadside cannons involved. Take them out now. I think hit and run tactics. I think that's how we're going to win this. Okay, cool. I think that thing's injured as hell. We can deal with it later. Except they've already lost a Fulgint. It's not the one I was targeting, but they've lost one. What matters? Okay, dampen, dampen, dampen. Dampen, dampen, dampen once more. We're just going to pull back into our lines just to help deal with these claws. Because the claws are a killer. That, uh, that omen's actually a huge help on this on this front. Okay, this is working. This is working a little better. This way, our entire front line is at least engaging the enemy. The way, other ways I've done it, they've sort of just been sitting idly. At least with the defend command, they'll sort of go out and fight a bit. If the need arises, also put the shields up to try and get some of these guns back online. Okay, great. Keep it moving. Got that missile a little early, I think. There's that super damage for Fulgrim. Oh, that's actually not even the same one. Nice, that means that there's a couple of them. Because those, those are pretty... They're not great weapons platforms, but with the right loadout, they can be really scary. So I'm happy to see them uh, getting taken out of the picture. Same goes for these little things. They can they can shred your ships if they catch you out of uh, position. They tend to fire very fast. Okay, cool. That's another Fulgrim out. The Glimmers. Get rid of the Glimmers. Smack that one. I think that's going to be worthy of a missile. In fact, you know what? I'm going to set my fighter craft off to fight him. Okay, we've got to be careful that we don't overexpose, though. Very easy to get over out of position. Okay, there's another Fulgent. Yeah, this is working exactly like I hope it would. They're sort of... They're coming forward to, to probe our defenses, and then they're getting absolutely shredded on the return when they push back. Oh wow, his ECM took out my uh, my missile there. That's a, that's a shame. Okay, dampen, dampen, dampen. And dampen, dampen, dampen. Pull back into the fleet. Let's try and kill this thing now. Every time we do damage to them, we win. The only issue is that we are on a timer here, of course, with combat readiness. Can't do this forever. But this, is a, you know, this has been a lot more effective than just uh, trying to sort of charge this thing before. That just gets me killed every single time. I've tried it in the past. Maybe this is the play. It's very expensive on supply because we're going to have to spend so much to uh, get the combat readiness back. Now, combat readiness is already starting to pile up. Someone is starting to experience malfunctions. We need to get them out of here once we start seeing those messages. Because the ships will eventually just blow up if they're here for too long. Come on, take them out, boys. These, uh, these glimmers are really good at disabling my weapons. Come back online. I, I, I think I'm just going to like focus these down. I think we just need to kill them. I think we need to stop playing. I think we just need to kill these things. Come on. Take them out now. There we go. That was a big hit. Another big hit. I think I'm going to push behind enemy territory here and just try and kill these things. This is working. This is working. They haven't brought their battleship out to fight us yet, and that's excellent. It's exactly the way we wanted this to go down. Unless we maybe already killed it. I don't I don't think we did though. They uh they tend to be quite dramatic when they die. Okay, let's set the fighters out there. Help out with the kill. Excellent, that's one down. These things are so annoying. They've been knocking out my guns again and again. I think focusing down on them is gonna be the way to finish this. Now the battleship's still in reserve. Okay, excellent. That's what we want to see. Okay, another glimmer is about to go down. Come on. Yes! Okay, using the omen as like a little gorilla ship seems to be working very well. 
All right, now is the time. We're starting to lose combat readiness, so now we need to start hitting back. So now I would say, realistically, we turn off defense mode. And we start, uh, we start taking these enemies on a bit more in life, like, sort of frequently. Directly, that's the wording. Sorry, not frequently. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh god, here come the claws. Alright, dampen. Oh, I overloaded. I overloaded. I was too slow to disable the shields. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt so much. Took out my engines. Uh, Shrike, I need you to come here and protect me, please. You're doing a great job, buddy. Keep it up. Okay, we need to get ourselves over to the rest of our fleet. I think we need to direct fire here a bit. I need you to engage this. Uh, this is a bit of a scare. You need to leave before you get blown up. This is going to cost us supply for nothing. All of you focus in on that thing. I think we can kill it. I think you two can handle that glimmer. Uh, looks like the... Looks like the claws are coming out, but my, my engines have been knocked out. So I am unfortunately adrift. Can't go back to help my men. Alright, we have lost an omen, but they have taken out that glimmer, that's excellent. Looks like they're about to take out that radiant there. The brilliance, radiance, radiance, brilliance, yeah, take out that brilliance. Excellent, now you guys can flip around and take out that fulgrim. Then you, you need to retreat, you're done. Uh, you need to hold strong as you are. Okay. Let's get the Odyssey back into the fight. Those Eradicators are about to zero out on combat readiness, which is very worrying. Okay, just kill that Fulgrim. And then I'll get them to redirect and take out that Brilliant. That Radiant class uh, Super Cruiser is going to be a real, real pain in my ass to kill. Because that thing on its own is a real fight. Okay, good. Flip it around. You get in there. Kill that. You need to retreat. You're about to die. And you're not even going to salute you. Okay, looks like they pulled the claws back to defend the station. That's actually ideal for me. Fantastic, the brilliant's gone. Okay, okay. We have a chance. We have a chance. My men will slowly start moving back. You need to retreat. Aragon, I'm going to ask you to move back over this way because you're about to get shredded by that Radiant. I don't think you can beat it. I'm going to level with you. I'm going to level with you. The way the AI pilots that thing, I don't think it can beat it. Uh, in fact, let's switch teams here. Oh, there goes the Golden Eagle. Uh, I need to switch to this. Oh, why, why are your shields down? Oh man, the AI has no idea how to pilot these things, I swear. It does a decent job with the Odyssey, so maybe we do need to switch back. To piloting the Paragon. Okay, let's continue to take out the rest of their fleet. Let's enable Fortress Shield since we're not shooting right now. Get in a bit closer and then immediately start piling in on this thing. Oh, come on. The perfect salvo. Come on. Smash him. Smash him, please. Yes. Okay. Okay. That glimmer is about to pop. Fantastic. Can't hear anything with the shields up. I love that. That's such a cool effect. Okay, we're going to vent real quick. This thing is going to turn its attention to us, but we're going to back out enough to not be a problem. I think that was the right time to do that. And now we keep the pressure on. We worry about the station later. Uh, you need to get out of here. That thing's dead. The Odyssey is not in a good place either. You need to help me take this thing out. We're going to have to kill the Brilliant and then we can kill the station. Radiant, sorry. We have to kill the Radiant then we can kill the station. Okay, we have turned off a lot of its lasers. Our iron cannon's coming into play there. Oh fuck, we're in a bit of trouble. Oh, this thing's... It's going to take us with him. He's taking us with him, chat. Oh, shit. Oh, give him the armor. Let him shoot the armor. Come on, we've almost got it. We've almost... Yes! Oh, lord. Okay, it's done. Now we got to deal with this thing. They just have such broken flux. 
that's. I think we're gonna have to hit it on the side here. It's the only way to kill it. Gotta get behind that shield. There we go, that's working. That's working. There we go, get it right in the corner. Excellent. Excellent. Muy caliente. Now we do this one. Right in there. Right in the corner. Right in that corner. There we go. Eradicator, I, I need you to move, homie. You are in the way. Okay, now we can get the shield up again. Right in there. Right in there. Come on, focus fire. Right on that corner piece. Get rid of these hangers. Done. Okay, here comes the final piece of the puzzle. My Odyssey is dead, seemingly. Unclear. I think the Paragon can handle this on its own. This cost us probably about 2,000 supply, but it is done. But it is done. Maybe this is the play next time, is we just get in there with one of the ships, and we just kamikaze one of the, the hangars. There we go. Lord. Oh, maybe that's the strat. Okay, consider ship recovery. I'll take them all. Why not? Youch. Youch. What an insane fight. To perform a survey. For all that. For all that. And widespread ruins and plentiful volatiles. Oh my god, this is going to make us so much money. Blow the ruins. And how much? How much? Okay. We need to go over here. We need to drop off some of our ships. Manage the fleet. We're gonna go over to storage. We're gonna have to dump a ton of this. Pretty much all of it, really. We'll, we'll come back and get it later. Uh, we're gonna use that nanite repair module right now. That's gonna save us a ton of uh, a ton, a ton, a ton of supplies. A thousand supplies were still spent. Ow. But we now need to put away a few of these ships. Take me down there. We're going to colonize this right away. And then we're going to call that an episode. Establish a colony. Bang. Uh, gas. What's a good gas name? Let's call this place Juno. Why not? Perfect. Just to, just to, just to make the scientists happy in chat. All right. As we uh, finish off this last little bit of remnant fleet that's come after us. I want to talk to you guys about the plans for the next episode. So we definitely need to do something about our colony situation. We cannot have a minus five debuff to our stability across the board. It's going to completely destroy our ability to wage war. So we're going to have to either start spending a lot of money on administrators or break into AI cores. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. What would you guys like to see me do first? Uh, I'm thinking AI just because we've got it already and it would be really cool because we haven't done it yet. But it doesn't, it's not, it's not like we don't have to do it. It's just a nice to do, you know? So yeah, let me, I'd love to hear what you think. And uh, I will probably see you in the next one. Cheers. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Knee Cruncher, Riley David, Badass Beast, Rivo, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Officer C4, Not K Arthur, Adachi Fanboy, Couch Potato, Rob, LCG Canyon Zahar, Jack Smallman, Cut Beef, Go Ham, I'm Alpha, The Senate, Richard Berry, Ragnar Skullcrew, Depoyo44, Eve Roxanne, Raija King, Mel Roman, Deep to Fry Sam, Jan the Pan, Jan the Pan, not sure about that one, and Pratham Parush. You guys all rock.